What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with a Sneasel and Yvelta combo team that has been taken over the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Take two seconds out of your day, just scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. All the likes on the video do go a long way too. And everybody who just tunes in and watches it, you guys are real ones. Seriously, thank you guys so much for the support. Cannot thank you guys enough. But uh, let's get started here in the top left corner with Regilecki right here. Regilecki is going to be our first Pokemon on the team. It's got the Transistor as its ability, alongside with the Magnet as its item. It's rocking Thunderbolt, alongside with E-Web for Speed Control. And it's got some Extreme Speed for a coverage move and for first turn priority. And then last but not least, it is rocking Protect. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Sneasel. Over here. Sneasel is going to be that Pokemon that pairs up with Yvelta and makes his team super. It's got inner focus as its ability, so it can't be intimidated, or more importantly, it cannot be faked out. It's also rocking the focus sash, so it can't be taken out in one turn. And it's got foul play for, you know, big damage on physical attackers, fake out for them flinches, icy wind for speed control, and then the most important move for him is going to be that fake tears. The Sneasel over here pretty much outspeeds all Pokemon. It is not a prankster Pokemon, so it can actually use fake tears on dark types, which is really, really cool. But it drops that special defense minus two, and then pairing it up with that Yvelta, Yvelta can just go into max darkness, max airstream, and just legit one hit KO pretty much any Pokemon with that combo. Second Pokemon, or not second Pokemon, third Pokemon is going to be Yvelta over here with Dark Aurora, alongside with that Life Orb to give it some damage boost, Dark Pulse, Oblivion Wink, Foul Play, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Zacian over here. Do I even need to say anything about this Zacian? I guess we'll go over it. It's got Interpret Sword, Rust Sword, and this is the substitute moveset. Usually, uh, most Zacians rock with the play rough, but I've been using the substitute a lot recently, and it's actually really good, especially if you can get the sub set up. Zacian can just dominate the battle and go from there. It also has Iron Head, Sacred Sword for coverage, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. In the bottom left-hand corner, we have Incineroar. I don't need to say anything about that, this Incineroar. The only thing I, I could say about this Incineroar is it has Taunt. Everything else is pretty normal. Fake out Flare Blitz Parting Shot, Intimidate Safety Goggles, everything's normal in that Incineroar. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Storm Drain Gastron. Really good up against Kyogre teams and Rain squads because it has that Storm Drain as its ability. It's got Leftovers as item to recover HP at the end of every single turn. And then last but not least, its moveset is going to be Earth Power, Ice Beam, Yawn, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the run code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's get some wins with the Sneasel and Yabelta combo team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We are going up against a very strong team. He has Charizard and Whimscott combo to set up Sunny Day, and then he also has the Rain Pokemon with Kyogre, Zacian, and then Incineroar and Robo for back end support. So how should I go into this one? How should I play? I could lead the Sneasel and Yveltal combo. It could work out very well for us, or we can just bring Storm Drain Gastron in the back end on that. Or we can lead a Pokemon like Incineroar for Intimidate and maybe Regilecki for a bit more speed control. But I'm kind of leaning towards the uh, Sneasel and Yveltal combo just because I can go into a max airstream and kind of take speed that way. Plus, we can kind of counter up a lot. We can counter, up, counter his fake out mods. We can counter his intimidate. So, I'm really liking that lead. So, that's exactly what I'm going to be going to do. I'm going to go Sneasel. I'm going to go Yoda Beltal. And then I think I got to bring Storm Drake Gash on in the back end, right? It's super effective up against a few of these guys with the Ice Beam, with the Earth Power. I do dig it. And then final Pokemon, I could bring Zacian. I definitely want to bring Zacian, so I'm going to lock in Zacian. And think about my fourth Pokemon. So, it's either between Regilecki. Actually, dude, we could go Incineroar too. We could go either of these Pokemon. They all work out really well. They all work out really well, but I'm leaning more towards Gaston here. Storm Drain, it's super effective with a lot of the ground moves up against the Zacian and the, uh, and the Incineroar. The only problem is we would have to watch out for that, uh, Rillaboom, but I think we should be fine. I think we definitely should be fine. But let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys gotta let me know for question of the day before the battle even starts. What are some of your favorite music artists at this moment? At the exact time right now of this recording, what is your favorite music artist? For me, I've been listening to a lot of Rod Wayne. Kind of just came out with new album. It's actually really good. So if you guys like his music, definitely go check out his new album. Jam it out. I've been listening to it a lot. But let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But I cut my hand today. I don't know. You, you guys probably can't see it. So if you guys see me looking down at my hands because I'm checking my cut, I cut my hand in my hockey game today. We actually did. Our team played really good. We were going up against the top team. We ended up losing 4-3, but we should have won the game. I had a goal and assist. Your boy played pretty well, but again, we should have won the game. We were, we were uh, light guys. We were missing a few guys, but definitely next time when we verse that top team, we can get after them. We can definitely get after them. But we're 2-1 in the season, so it's not too bad. But back to the action. We're going up against Charizard and Whimsicott. I could fake out the Whimsicott. I could Icy Win. I could Fat Play. Um, what do I really want to do here? 
He's gonna drop a G Max Wildfire. He could protect the uh the Whimsicott. So I kinda just wanna go after this Charizard. Fake tearing it. And maybe just airstream just get a bit, a bit more speed here. Or I can get work done here and go for this special defense drop. But I just feel like airstream's gonna be the play. I'm gonna fake tier the Charizard and we're just gonna roll from there. It's gonna be my play all day. Because he could protect the Whimsicott thinking I'm going for a fake out, which I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna drop straight up fake tiers and we're gonna get rolling. And we're Dynamaxing. I'm kinda hoping he's Dynamaxing at the same time. If we can fake tier Charizard and hit it with an airstream, that could be some big old. Plus, we get a speed boost on top of that. But I'm kind of hoping he just protects Whimsicott and he thinks we're going for the fake out. Because we are not. We are not. Sometimes the fake out is just a little bit too predictable. So, I like to switch it up sometimes. But show me that protect with Whimsicott. Show it to me. Char Charizard protects. Char double protect. Double protect here. Charizard protects. Charizard protects. Wow. All right. That's cool. Wow, we could have just we could have just did, did the normal play. We could have just faked it out. We could have just faked it out and went after that. But nice protect by him. I give it to him all day. I give it to him all day. We chip up a little bit of damage on Charizard. He sets up Tailwind. We go plus one. I think Sneasel still might be fashion with you. I could ice him when these guys take off Focus Ash and go from there. But I wonder what he's gonna do here. I'm kind of curious. He could set up a sunny day and get after it. We still have a Focus Ash. Um, we could fake tears again. But you know, what? I'm just gonna icy win, and I'm going to get rid of. Bum, 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 bum. Do I get rid of Wimscott here? Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of Wimscott. No way Wimscott protects here. But I think he sets up Sunny Day, right? In Dynamaxes? Probably in the play from right? Probably the play. So right now, their Tailwind set up. If Sneasel goes into this Icy Wind, that drops him to minus one. And then if we get off the Airstream, we will be faster. The only way we won't be faster is if he drops an Airstream of his own. But I don't know if he's going to do that. I really don't know if he's going to do that. We could have faked tears that thing again, but I think we're fine here. He's going to drop the sunny day. He's going to get that heat. Hopefully, Sneasel actually outspeeds and we can icy win. Get off our shots. Sneasel might go down here. We'll see how some plays here. He is going to go first. He is going to drop a G-Max Wildfire into the Avelta here. So he's going to deal a lot of damage. That's a lot. But more importantly, we get rid of the Wimscott and we take some speed here. We take some speed, which is really good. We definitely take some speed. The Charizard's minus one. The Veltal is now faster than Charizard. And we could go into a fake tiers if we want to. We could go into a fake tiers if we want to. But my problem would be if he max guards that Charizard. That is that that would be our problem. If he max guards the Charizard. Would be a smart play. It would definitely be a smart play. Because if he max guards actually we're dead. I just realized we're dead. Wildfire's gonna take us out. That hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. Wildfire takes us out. God dang it, man. I really need that turn from you, Veltal. I really needed that, but okay. He's minus one. Um, Sneasel is going to go first. I could drop another Icy Wind, fake a minus two, and then I could bring out Zassian. Do we think Zassian can do enough damage? Do you think Zassian can do enough damage? Probably not, right? No shot, right? No shot, because what could we do with Sneasel? What could we do with Sneasel? This is tough, man. This is real tough. We got to go into Zassian. Zassian has a bit... Some speed. Behemoth Blake could do a nice chunk, but I don't see it taking him out at all. Plus, he goes in Robo, and he can fake me out easily. Uh, I might just predict the protect. I might predict the protect. I'm going to go for an Ice Wind again. They might just predict the protect, so I'm just going to go into Behemoth Blade and see how we can actually play this one out. See how we can play this one out. It's tough news. I kind of need him to target down that Sneasel. I, I kind of need him to target down the Sneasel. Maybe we can hit the single Behemoth Blade. Charizard is a problem. I should just went after it last turn. He's going to go for the fake out into my inner focus. Button. That ain't too bad. Icy Wind's going to fly out here. And Zacian should be fast, but I don't know if Zacian can take out this Charizard. That's my problem. That's my problem. So inner focus clutching up. Inner focus definitely clutching up. Behemoth Blade should go first here. Is it going to take out? I mean, Zacian's the main. It's not very effective, but... It, you never know, dude. Zassian does some big time damage. And he gets it done, yo. He gets it done. Let's go. Let's go. Big time KO coming out from Zassian. We definitely should have targeted down that Charizard in turn two after he protected it. Because we could have just taken it out. But that's a huge turn from us. He wastes his fake out onto my Sneasel. That's exactly what I needed. And he predicted a protect, I think. I think he was predicting protect. But that's huge. That is huge. Okay, one's about to end for them. I think it might have one more turn. He could Grassy Glide into me. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? Because I still have Storm Drain Gastron. So 
but I need to get rid of Robum, right? Robum has got to go, even though he's just going to take out my Sneasel here. Uh, what do I do? Zassian's going to poke out here. Scary, scary, scary. That is definitely scary. This is still not looking good. Hmm. So I have to go after what's called, obviously. I have to go after Rillaboom. I have to get rid of Rillaboom. That's my only chance. Gashon might have a shot up against Zassian. I don't know, but uh, Gashon stands no chance up against Zassian. Oh, and he protects. He protects that turn. That's a big turn for us. It's a big turn for us. Rillaboom's going, wow, he double protects. Let's just waste out Tailwind. Let's just waste it out Tailwind. That works wonders for us. That works wonders for us. That waste out Tailwind for him. I'm digging that all day. Um, but yeah, we have to go after this Rillaboom. I think he was kind of just like reading out what he wanted to do. Or he just wanted that chip damage on him. That's exactly what he wanted. He wanted the chip damage, which isn't too bad with the terrain. We get a little bit of HP back. Zassian's just going to slowly take chip damage. And I think he's hoping that his Behemoth Blade can now take out my Zassian with that HP chunked out. Okay. So I think Tailwind's gone, right? And I think uh, Wildfire's gone here, too. I don't think Wildfire stays out, right? I don't know if we're going to take damage from this. That's one more turn. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah, we're just going to go into an Icy Wind again. Start play all day. And I'm just going to go into Behemoth. I know he grass guides me. Do I slow them down or do I do this? I might want to just try to get off a of fake tears here. Because if I can fake tier to Zassian, that can leave my Gastron and just actually tap that Zassian. But I don't know how this one's going to play here. He's going to grass guide. Saw's coming from a mile away. And now we need my Zassian to take this thing out. With him. Can we do it? Can we go first, actually? That would be nice. We do go first. Can we take out this roll boom? Can we get rid of this roll boom? Take him out, one shot. No problem. Oh, hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. And he's just going to go for Behemoth Blade. And now, from here, we need to soak up the shot and get rid of the room. Soak up the shot, Zassian. And, of course, my Zassian does not soak up. And that's going to be GG's fault. So, battle number one does not go in our favor. We definitely should have taken out that Charizard a little bit earlier. But if we were able to take out the Robum, I feel like we would have had a shot. But I, I don't know how big of a shot. But it's definitely over here. This battle is all gone. Unless, how many turns left in terrain? I just don't see us win this battle at all. I do not see us win this battle at all. How many turns left in terrain? Two. Yeah, we gotta land a double protect. That's our only way. I'll go for a double protect. I'll try to land a double protect just to waste out the terrain. You now we, we won't quit too early. We'll try to get some energy on our side, but chances are he's just gonna land a grass guide. But our only way out of this is going to be... There's no way we eat up two behemoth blades. That's my problem. But we would have to go into double protect, KO the roll boom. I mean, he outspeeds us anyway. We lost. We, we, he outspeeds us anyway. He outspeeds us anyway. I didn't even think of that. He outspeeds us anyway, and he just read us really good. He stormed during Gashon, and he was just like, I'm not going to even gonna bring my Kyogre. I'm going to just roll off him there. But solid battle from our opponent. He outspeeds us, so there's no point. Even if we land double protect, he just still throws another one. Right? Just GG's. Yeah, I'm just going to win this battle. There's no shot we eat one up. It's, it's a four times super effective. It just wipes us out, no problem. But we're just going to run this battle. Great battle by our opponent. We start off 0 1. Time to hop into that second. Showcase the combo a little bit more and grab ourselves a win. Second battle coming at you guys. That first battle did not go the way we wanted to, but that's why we do multiple battles in today's video so we can grab you guys a win. But like I said, we're hopping into our second, going up against a Zassian team. The only restricted mod is Zassian. Okay, so Zassian, he also has the Galarian Zapdos, which is definitely a huge threat. That Pokemon is super, super strong. And then he has the Grim Snarl, the Incineroar Shed Ninja, which is a problem. We got to definitely bring in a Pokemon that's super effective up against that. And then uh, Urshifu. So from here, I kind of just want to go Sneasel and Yveltal. The combo seems really nice, kind of counters up on a good bit. Um... I am liking that. Zassian in the back end because you know Zassian is just a boss. And then last but not least, do we go Regilecki or do we go Gasha? Or we can go Incineroar. I'm kind of leaning towards Incineroar. Intimidate can do wonders. It can work really well. But a close combat can do me dirty with that Urshifu. But do I go Regilecki instead? Regilecki's not bad. It can do some big time damage. It can do some big time damage. So I'm kind of leaning towards this. Look at that. 277. God dang. This thing cooks. This thing cooks, and it has extreme speed. So, you know, we're gonna, what, what, what does it need extreme speed for? In case it Dynamaxes? <laughs> like, it's already faster than everything. It's pretty much already faster than everybody in the Tailwind. It is ridiculously fast. 277. That's the fastest Pokemon in the game, right? I believe it is. I believe it is. That is just insane, that speed. That speed is just absurd. It's like overkill on the speed board. It's not even just like a few. 
like a few things quicker than him. It is just ridiculously quicker. He's going to end up going uh, Urshifu here, which I don't mind. I might just slow down and pop an Icy Wind. I might just slow down pop an Icy Wind. It could fake out. But I think I'm just going to go into an Airstream here. Airstream and Icy Wind up? Seems like the play. I can fake out or I can just go and shoot foul play. Take off Sash for Shed Ninja. Deal with that in a little bit. Kind of cool with that. He's going to take off Sash, Sash of the Shed Ninja. He's going to withdraw Shed Ninja. Who are you going to go into, kind sir? Sassy. Okay, so foul play? Not too bad. Especially with Dark of War out on the field. That play's not too bad here. Maybe he thought I was going into an airstream with that. I, I kind of don't mind this turn. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up dying to max him. So he is going to max up. He is maxing up. Kind of scared. Kind of scared. A little scared. Just a little bit. But I wonder what he's going to go into. I wonder what you're going to go into. Probably boost an attack, right? But if we can boost speed, we can kind of... We do some work. We do some work here. I'm Dynamax in my boy, and I'm getting after Surge. I could do some mean damage. Could have faked here. That would have been awesome. Faked here. But I don't mind this foul play. I really don't mind this foul play at all. I really do not mind this foul play. Not one bit. Not too shabby. This is not too shabby. So foul play is going to come out here. How much damage is this really going to do? Let's go. Let's go. It's a good chunk of damage. Rapid flow is going to come out here. And he going after my Yvel talk. Cool. We soak that up all day. And more. Wow, dude. That move is just overkill with the animation. <laughs> move is just overkill with animation. Airstream is going to fly through. How much damage can we do here? KO? Oh, my God. That's a beautiful start. So I can foul play in his ass again if I want to. Foul play with Sneasel takes him out. Or I can predict to protect. Go into... uh. A different move. I wonder what he's going to do here. There's another... We have speed. Another foul play takes him out. Sneasel doing a good amount of damage with the Velto on the field with a foul play. That is lovely. That is lovely. I like that foul play. He, once he swapped with Zassi, I was like, you know what? I do not mind that. He's going to go into Zapdos here. We have speed. I might just fake tier it. I might just fake tier that Pokemon. I think I'm just going to fake tier that Pokemon. He already Dynamax. We can KO instantly. No, we're just going to go into foul play in this slot. I play all day. I play all day. He gives me no reason not to. Foul play. Sneasel. KO and Zacian. Have you guys ever seen that? Yo, that deserves a like. That deserves a like. A Sneasel, KO, and a Zacian. But this battle's over with. This battle's GG's. We take out Zapdos. No problem here. One shot. And this going to be clean sweep. He has to bring out Shed Ninja. We have foul play. We have dark moves. We have air moves. Like, it's over with. This combo is broken. And we didn't even get to use the fake tier combo. I cannot believe that Sneasel did that much damage to a, to a Yveltal. Or well, not Yveltal, to a Sassy. God dang, Sneasel, dude. <laughs> I love it. But the Dark Reward helped it. It's stab. Sassy just a huge attacker. And now he has to bring out this little bug. But yo, that might have been, this might have been one of my quickest battles. A full battle. He's definitely canceling it. I'll drop Darkness. I'll drop a Foul Play. He's, he's got to be canceling. Shen Ninja's not soloing him. That guy's probably sitting there like, yo, what just happened? He has no idea. Battle was canceled. There it is, guys. One and one. We make up for a loss in battle number one. Now we can hop into a third battle and look for a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team alongside with the Groudon and Venus Recon. So he has a few slow Pokemon, like the Calyrex, like the P2, and then he has Celesteela and Gashon. Those are his Trick Room mods, and then his other Pokemon is the Groudon and the Venusaur. But I don't know how I should play this one. I could go into Sneasel, or I can just go into Regilecki. I think Regilecki can do some work, but Sneasel at the same time can also do some work. Sneasel, do I want you? Not too bad. You are not too bad here. But I feel like I should lead Incineroar just in case he wants to pop Trick Room. Plus, if he goes into the Groudon combo, we get off and Intimidate onto the Groudon. And I could also Flare Blitz straight into that Venusaur. So I like Incineroar as a lead. Uh, second Pokemon could go Zass. He does have Sacred Sword for and Behemoth Blade for the Trick Room Pokemon. I kind of like that. I kind of like these two more. And then in the back end, we could go Yveltal. And we got to bring Gastron, right? We have to bring Gastron. Slow Pokemon, if he ends up getting off that Trick Room, then Gastron might be our Dynamax Pokemon. So this one's going to be tough. But at least in the second battle, we got that clean sweep, baby. Sneasel and Yveltal popping off. Sneasel actually killing Exacian, which I have never seen before. 
I've never seen before. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before, but Sneasel teed off on that Zassian. Two shot at him. It was awesome. It was dope. But we're going to see what it, what our opponent does and how he leads this one. He's going to end up leading, I think it's P2 and Kalix. Okay. Who's popping trickering? It's a problem. It's a problem. P2's got to be popping trickering, right? I mean, I think we just fake out the Calyrex here, right? Fake out and we go into a Sacred Sword. Or do I fake out or do I read the Protect? Who's going in Trickering? That's the real problem. That's the real problem. That could Behemoth play that Calyrex, but dude. P2's gotta be, gotta be that Pokemon. He's gotta be that Pokemon. Plus, we got a nice little Intimidate off on that. I do dig it. Oh, no, he traces me and Intimidates me. That That's tough. That's tough news right there. But I feel like I got a Sacred Sword. And I gotta go into a fake out onto the P2 slot. That's how we gonna play. And what the heck is this thing? White herb. Oh my god. Jesus. A lot going on before the battle, but I'm just gonna fake out you. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go into a secret sword here. I think he has to protect Calyrex. We have so many threats. If he was smart, he would double protect. But I don't know if P2 is rocket protect. Some of them don't. Some of them do not. So wow, a lot just happened there. I wish he would have put her Incineroar in the other side. He's gonna. Nice call. Dynamax, uh, Calyrex here. Gonna end up Dynamax into Calyrex. So he can't get off Trick Room. So this is, this actually is not too bad for us. I don't think he can kill my Zassian. I do not think he can kill, kill my Zassian. And then if we get off of Behemoth Blade, that could be good. So we fake out the P2. Great call for us on the fake out slot. And then Sacred Sword's gonna fly out here. We just need my Zassian to survive another turn here. Did not. That did like no damage, which kind of hurts his soul. He's gonna go into Quake. So Quake's gonna happen here, and that's going into Incineroar. Oh, that's going into Zassian. Never mind. And we do eat. So that's a big time eat because now I can Behemoth Blade into Calyrex if I want to, or I can double down. What do I want to do here? This is tough. This is real tough. I could taunt this thing. Which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna taunt now, and I'm just gonna go into Behemoth Blade. Not bad. Not too bad right now. Not too bad. Like I said, if we can waste out this Trick Room, it'd be good. And he's Dynamax. It'll be really good. Behemoth Blade should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. He goes for an ally. Props. Props. That was the one play that really does me dirty. I thought we were sitting so good. That play really does us dirty. That play does us so dirty. He can recover too. Paul's gonna come out here and do nothing. Quake into my Incineroar, please. Quake again. You going after? That's crazy. That is crazy. Okay. Okay. Um. Special defense is be a little bit of a problem. Be a little bit of a problem. Chili Nay is coming out here. I mean, foul play can do good, good, good damage. Good, good damage. We could bring out Gash on. Uh, we're gonna have to bring out Yveltal here. I don't think we Dynamax Yveltal. Wow, dude, what a play. Dude, we were sitting nice. Ally Switch comes out. I don't know if he's gonna pop trigger. I mean, we should still go for the taunt. Do we think he doubles with the Ally Switch? Definitely an option. We could read it. I'm just gonna go for a foul play here. Let's see what he does. Gotta go for his taunt again, man. Do not Ally Switch. If he Ally Switches again. Oh. That would hurt. That would hurt. I don't think he has a moxie to do it. He does not. Cool. Foul play comes out here. Big time damage. We get rid of him, and I get to also get off this taunt with this PZ. Thank you. Thank you. I knew this guy didn't have the moxie to pop a pop a double ally switch. And I was I was this close to actually predicting the ally switch. I was this close. So he's probably gonna go into an eerie impulse into me. I mean that's totally fine. Actually he can't. And he's gonna go into a trigger. He cannot so taunt this. The best move up against P2. This Incineroar is clutching up with that tall moveset. So now I could Dynamax Yveltal. That's not a bad Dynamax. He's going to go in Celestial here. And I think I just Flare Blitz right down the lane, right? I think I just Flare Blitz right into it. Chip up as much damage as I can. And then just Dark Pulse. P2? What would do more damage? Dark Pulse would do more damage. It's Dark And we're going to see if we can actually take this back. Oh. Might swap to P2. I don't know. I mean, what can he really do? He might have Ice Beam. But countering up that Trick Room is just a huge factor in our, in our match here. Which all speed too. We are Dark Pulsing in the slot, so this could be pretty good. We're going to Growl. Okay. Okay. And he sets a Drought. So, <laughs> so my Flare Blitz is doing even more damage. 
The Flare Blitz is doing even more damage. Dark Pulse comes out here. Chip up some nice damage on thing. Oh my god. Nice damage ain't even a word for it. Ridiculous amount of damage. Meteor Beam comes in here and uh, we're saying bye bye to whoever he's hitting with. I'm surprised this thing actually outspeeds Incineroar. I'm surprised by that. But Gastron's probably going to beat him my Dynamax Pokemon, right? I do like him. He's probably going after Yveltal here, right? Yveltal, bye bye. Meteor Beam coming in here. Where's that Incineroar? Nope, Yveltal. See you later, dude. Okay, so. He goes down here. Flare Blitz is going to pop out here. It is going to be a minus one Flare Blitz, but still in this uh, drought. Could be good. He's going to get Beast Boost. Special attack is now sitting at plus two. Well, I'm dropping a nice little Flare Blitz. Bop, chipping up some mean damage. We don't pick up the KO, which is kind of whack, but it's all good. It's all good. We bring out Gastro here, and we, just, uh, we Dynamax him, right? We Dynamax Gastro, and we go into a nice, lovely... Uh, what's it called? Go into a nice, lovely Hailstorm. Hailstorm can take out you. Buffets can start slowly chipping up. Maybe I should have taken out the uh, Celesteela, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Not, not bad plays from us. Our opponent did make a phenomenal play. That ally switch almost won in the game. If he would have went into one more ally switch, he would have won the game. But again, I called him out. I called him. I was like, yo, he ain't got it. He ain't got it in him to pull another ally switch, which he didn't. But yeah, if he would have went into an ally switch that round, I would have won in the game. That, that that turn was big for us. That turn was big for us. But our slug gets the Dynamax here. I'm not too worried about the P2 in the back end. I'm really worried about these two Pokemon right here. Blade's going to fly. We're going to say bye-bye to Incineroar. And again, okay, Gastro should just be able to soak up a good amount. Gastro should be able to soak up pretty well. Air Slash going to come through. He is plus two. Nice damage here. But we change up weather. We get rid of Groudon. And Buffets are going to start flying. So what I could do here is I could just guard here and have Buffets take out Celesteela. But if I do that, then we have a slight problem, I guess I could say. A slight problem, and that slight problem might be that P2 having recover. No, that P2 could have recover. I mean, I feel like the safe play is just go after, because Celestial cannot take me out. I feel like the safe play is just to go after the P2, right? Celestial cannot take me out, and Slug should be faster than P2. I mean, he might ally switch, but I'm going straight after the P2. Right? He has Storm Drain now. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. But I could go for a Quake. Quake might be a better option here. I'm going to do I'm going to Quake. Actually, that was a bad option in case he goes to an ally switch. I mean, it don't really matter. I don't think he's going for an ally switch. He protects Celestial. Cool. Cool, he protects Celestial. So Celestial is dead. Eerie Impulse comes out here. Not a bad call, not a bad call, even though I don't think Eerie Impulse should work on Gastron because it, it is an electric move, which is kind of stupid. But we go into a Quake here. How much damage are we doing to P2? Dude, if P2 has Recover, could be a problem. Could be a problem, but I'm special defense boosting up here. I'm just going to go into another Quake. I'm just going to go into another Quake. Wow, that could do me dirty. It has Recover. That could hurt. I do need my defense boost here. But eventually, I could just yawn it and hope we get some crits, but... This battle might go to the distance. If this thing has recover, which I think it does, it can go to the distance. So we're going to quick again. We're going to look for a special defense boost. Again, Slug should be faster. Slug is not faster, and it does not have recover. So that's GG's. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Quake comes out here. Chips up some damage. Might not even take it out, but Buffett should be able to, right? Look at that. Put it on one. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Thank Arceus, baby. Because again, dude, if that thing had recovered, it would have been a huge problem. But Buffett come out here. Gastron clutches up in the back end. And we go 2-1 and one and grab ourselves a winning record. Great set of matches for today's video. We went 2-1 and one and grabbed ourselves a winning record. And more importantly, in battle number 2, we got to show off that deadly combo of Yvelta and Sneasel. Not too bad right there. We came off with a nice little sweep there. Got the fake outs rolling. But we didn't really get to show off the fake tears combo, which kind of hurts. It kind of hurts, but still, you guys know it's there. You guys know how to use it. It's not too hard. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for, for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.